Hello and welcome back. Sometimes you download a PNG file from the internet and you expect it to have transparency, like this Firefox logo. However, when I add a fill layer with red and move it below the imported image, nothing happens. Well, my friend, you have been fooled. The white-gray checkerboard pattern is usually associated with transparency and this is where we got tricked when downloading the image. The checkerboard pattern is actually burned into the image. If I move the layer to the left, we can see that the checkerboard pattern moves along and the red fill layer is shown through. Let me turn off the fill layer and we can now see the actual transparency pattern. As you see, this is much finer, but also keeps its size even though we zoom in. The fake pattern, on the other hand, does get zoomed in, which just confirms that the image is not transparent. So how do we fix this? Well, there's nothing else to do than remove or erase the pattern manually. There are a couple of ways we can achieve this. If you have a complex image with color, the only good way is masking out the subject. The easiest way of doing this is by using the selection brush tool. Before we start selecting, make sure the snap the edges option is turned on together with the soft edges. Now I can quickly make a selection. Once I have my selection, we will need to press the refine button. So Affinity can clean up and correct the mask, especially on the edges. If needed, you can correct the mask here if your mask was incomplete. Once Affinity did its magic and you're ready, select new layer with mask for the output and press apply. Perfect, our image is now transparent as we want. If we look closely in the layers panel, we can see that we now have a new layer to which the mask is applied, which removed the fake checkerboard. I can now change the back color as I want and the end result is amazing. This method will work all the time, but it takes some masking. However, if you have a simple black and white image, like this horse image right now, there are some other ways to get rid of the fake checkerboard without masking. Let's start by adding the red background again, so we can clearly see the transparency. As expected, the checkerboard we see right now is fake and we can't see the red layer below. As this image is only black and white, we can adjust the blend range of it so the white and the grey areas are filtered out by the blend ranges, which as a final result only the black will be shown. Let's open up the blend ranges. From the source layer range I'm going to remove the highlights by lowering the right control point and then pushing it to the shadows. As you see this removed the fake checkerboard. However, it also affected the black. We can make the blacks a bit stronger by pushing the left control point to the right. You have to be careful though not to push too far. I will zoom in and hopefully you can see what happens if we push it too far. Now this looks about right. Even though we increase the blacks it's still not very strong and you might notice that the red background is bleeding into it. Well the best way to fix this is to add a curse or a levels adjustment to make the blacks really black. I will use the levels adjustment and push the black level until all the bleeding of the red is gone and we are left with a perfect black transparent image. If I change the background color all looks amazing. Excellent, pretty cool. Now here is another cool method that not much people know. I'm going to duplicate the horse layer and reset the blend range of it. Let me also hide the previous layers I used. If I turn off the top layer now, we should see the background. Excellent. Let's turn it back on. Now I'm going to duplicate it. On the duplicate I just created, I'm going to set its blend mode to screen. Have a look at that. It removed the checkerboard pattern. Amazing, isn't it? As we don't have any checkerboard pattern showing up, 
All we need to do is to make the white transparent. Luckily, Affinity has a built-in filter for this. To be able to use the filter, I will do a merge visible first. So I get a pixel layer of what we're seeing right now. I'm also going to disable the two previous layers as we don't need them anymore. On this new pixel layer, we can apply the Erase White Paper filter from the Filters Colors menu. Awesome! And the image is transparent right now. Pretty amazing. We still, however, got the issue that the black is not very black. Again, this can be easily fixed by applying a levels adjustment and then increasing the black level. Pretty awesome. I forgot to mention with the previous method that we need to make sure that the levels adjustment only applies to the horse image. So I'll clip it to the horse layer. Let's change the background color and see how things hold up. Just perfect. Time for the last method, which will definitely blow your mind. I will arrange the layers and make sure I have the horse layer on top. Now I will rasterize it to get a pixel layer as I'm going to apply the erase white paper filter again. Let's apply the filter. Interesting, we removed all the whites, but the checkerboard pattern is still there. It still has some kind of transparency in it. The trick is now to apply a curves adjustment to this layer and use the alpha channel. The alpha channel will affect the transparency of the layer. By adjusting the alpha channel now, I can remove the semi-transparent pixels, which are in fact the gray boxes we see from the checkerboard. Awesome! The advantage of it is that we don't need a levels adjustment to make the blacks pure again, as they are not affected in the first place. These are a couple of methods you can use. There are many ways to achieve the same results. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more interesting Affinity Felto videos. Thanks again for watching and for your support. Keep safe and keep being creative. Until the next video.